In today's video, in less than 5 minutes, we're gonna learn how to do sidebar, where you can have your summary, item 1, 2 and 3, those kind of things. Then we will use the exact same technique to see how we can have a bar at the bottom of the screen here. You've guessed it, it's gonna be similar, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy, so let's buckle up, open the Vinci Resolve, and let's get started. As usual, we're in the edit page, my timeline is set up, my clip is ready, and I've identified here a moment where I want my sidebar to open. Now, the first things we will want to do is to get some text. For that, let's go into the effect library right here, then under title, and we can simply select text plus. You might be tempted to go with normal text, but there is a few things we will want to do that a normal text won't allow us to. So be careful to take the text plus. Here, I'm gonna change that text. I'm gonna go with summary, item one, item two, item three. And we can already see that this text is not properly aligned. I don't know about you, but I really like when my text is properly aligned to the left. So let's fix that straight away. We've got an horizontal anchor here. Let's make sure to select left. When I'm doing this, everything now is properly aligned. If I want to get a small indentation, I can simply do the little space trick and move things ever so slightly. But from here, that text is all aligned the right way, but it's in the middle of the screen. I'd like to move it. If you were thinking of using the transform overlay trick or maybe go into the settings and move the position, I wouldn't advise to because that bar here is moving with me, which means if I've got a longer text, I won't be able to use the full screen. What I want is to move the text within the frame rather than moving the frame. So that's fairly easy to do. Let me reset everything. There we go. And here what I'm gonna do is still into the title settings, go into the layout. Here I can use my center and I can start moving things across. That will still allow me to use the full length of the title. We'll need that in a second when we will want the bar at the bottom. Okay, so I've got my text. I'm gonna put it right about here. I can change the size, the font, all of those things as usual, that's not the point. But now my problem is, I can't really read it nicely. I'd like a background to it. I could try to play with the layout again, change the background and things like that, but there is a more simpler way. The best way of doing this is to go back into our effect under generator and take a solid color. We've got that background, so let's just select it, change the color to something a little bit more visual. Maybe that nice blue here. And that's kind of what we want. However, that's too big. So we're gonna trim it from the side. And by trimming, I really mean cropping. So in the inspector, go under settings. Here you got your cropping. If you don't see it, simply click on it. If it's disabled, just turn it on. And then from here, we're gonna crop from the right. And we're gonna shrink it to the right length. So probably around here for me today. So let's go back a few frames and play to see how it looks. It appears, roughly what I need, summary one, two, and three. And then at the end, it simply disappears. This is looking great, but let's go to the next level by having the sidebar walk into the frame and then walk out of the frame at the end. To do so, we could use keyframing and we can start moving the position, but there is, again, a faster way of doing this. For that, we're gonna go into our effect and now we're gonna go into video transition and we're gonna be looking for the push transition. Other transition would work as well, but the push will give us what we want. I'm gonna put it here in the middle just because the second half is really the part that I want if we play it quickly we can see that my text is just coming in at quite a linear speed. I'd like it to come faster in the middle and then slow down towards the end and ease into its final position. So we come here in the inspector, under ease, in and out. I just like it a little bit better. And then we're gonna just make sure that if you replay it again, that's looking way better. Now I'd like not just my text to do this, but my sidebar as well. So we're gonna clone a transition, simply select it, press option on the keyboard, and then go into the next level and put it here on the push. Now you need to make sure that both are aligned, otherwise your text will come first and then your sidebar might be what you want, but if we want to align this, let's put it here in the middle. For that in the inspector, we'll be able to select where the alignment is, either we want it to the left, to the right, or like we've done here in the middle. So now we're nearly done. As we can see, when we're playing it, it's coming quite nicely in. That's exactly what I want. If I want to retreat at the end, I'm simply gonna have to duplicate the effect. So for each effect, simply select them Press option and bring them on the other side. Let's do the same thing on the other side again. Let's put it here, adjust the alignment. However, we need to change something as my exit now is through the left. That's of course very normal. I was coming from the left, I haven't changed anything, so now I'm exiting through the left. What I will want to do is to sing, if I'm pushing from the left at the entrance, I need to go right on the exit. So let's go back to each of these transition. And then in the preset, let's just turn that into push right. Do that on both of them, just to keep them aligned. One last thing is to really sell the effect. Let's make sure that I'm also moving the frame with myself. So 
when I'm pointing out, I'm not hiding behind the sidebar and you can actually see my hand as I'm talking. For that, the easiest way I found is maybe to select my clip, look frame by frame when the effects start to appear. Let's put a little keyframe here, exactly like so, in the inspector, go all the way until the end of the transition, right here, and then just move that position to what I want it to be. So now if you're playing it, we can see that it works quite well, but that translation is also very linear. If I want to ease it in and out to kind of adjust to the movement of my sidebar, the easiest way I found to do this is to select my clip, open the spline right here uh, with that little icon here, and then I can select each of them and simply right click and sing ease in. And I can do the same thing on the other one and I can say I want to ease it out. As I exit the point, I want to do that slowly and as I enter the next one, I want to ease in. That's what we want to do. Now if I'm replaying this, we will be able to see that it is working quite well. That's everything we need. We're going to have to do the same thing on the other side, in and out. And then I can do the other one, ease in. Let's maybe fix the first one. No, ease in, no. Okay, so they're all the same. Exactly, perfect. See, even myself sometimes still looking, that's completely fine if you feel lost at times. The Vincia Resolve is a constant learning curve. But now if I'm playing it, I can see my sidebar coming in. I can see my summary everything I need and then I can go out. If I want to build the sidebar, it's also super easy. I can start to chop it up and because we've aligned the text and nothing will be moving, as I come back into the inspector, uh, I can now go into the text and really remove everything that is not necessary, exactly like so, for each of them, just leaving the piece I need. Now we can see that the text is jumping. To fix that, we can simply use the space trick. So let's make sure to leave an empty line for each element so we know that everything will be at the same level. So that would be item one, item two, item three. And then as I play it now, because of those space, everything is kind of pre-aligned at the right level and now it looks quite nice. This is the easiest quick and dirty trick that I know. Now, if we take the same technique, we can actually adjust this and change all the effects. So if I'm taking all of these with option, move it across and I can now change the transition rather than pushing left, I will want to come from up and then I will want to exit from the way down. I'm not gonna put the text because we already know how to fix this, but simply coming here and I can now change my cropping. So if I select my color, go into the cropping, reset this and just crop from the top. If I want a bar like this, if I'm not playing this, we will have exactly the same thing. I can come from the bottom, have a text, and then at the end I can just extract it. That's super easy. And you have it. The easiest and fastest way to get the sidebar in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you know of a better way of doing things or if you would have done something differently, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave you with two recommendations here from YouTube. One is the thing I think is the best, which is how to use text for masking effect in DaVinci Resolve. The other one is what YouTube thinks is best. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, ciao.